In this video, I will show you the basics of DNA replication. Anytime a cell needs to divide, it is hoping to create two new cells from an existing cell. In this original cell, there is one full set of DNA. The goal is to create two cells, each with their own full genome. So before this cell divides, it must make a copy of its genome through the process of DNA replication. After it replicates its DNA, it can divide into two cells, each receiving one full genome. So how does the cell make a copy of all of its DNA? Here is what we are starting with, a single DNA molecule, two strands running anti-parallel connected to each other by hydrogen bonds between complementary base pairs. For simplicity, I'm representing each of the nucleotides with the letter of the base, A, T, C, and G. Our goal is to create another molecule of DNA exactly like this one here. And because DNA replication is a semi-conservative process, the two resulting DNA molecules will each contain one strand of DNA from the original molecule and one strand of brand new DNA. While there are a variety of proteins and enzymes that are used in DNA replication, we will be focusing on just one, DNA polymerase. From its name, you can deduce that it builds polymers of DNA. This enzyme builds the new DNA strand onto the existing DNA strands. It will run along an existing strand and build a new strand complementary to it. You should know, however, that DNA polymerase can only build DNA in one direction. Let's take a look at what replication looks like in the cell. Replication starts at the origin of replication. Here, the DNA begins to unwind in both directions, breaking the hydrogen bonds between the two strands. This unwinding process creates a bubble called the replication bubble. These locations, where the original DNA is being unwound, are called the replication forks. Let's focus in on just half of the replication bubble. As the strands are separated, they become available for the DNA polymerase to attach and start building the new strands. The DNA polymerase knows which nucleotides to add to the new strand based on the complementary base pairing rules. Where the original strand has a thymine, the polymerase will add adenine to the new strand. Where the original strand has a guanine, the polymerase will add cytosine, and so on and so forth. You'll notice that along this top strand of the replicating DNA molecule, the DNA polymerase is building in this direction. And on the bottom strand, the DNA polymerase is building in this direction. Remember that the strands of DNA run anti-parallel, meaning they run in different directions. So naturally, the DNA polymerase will build new strands in opposite directions as well. You'll also notice that on this strand, the polymerase can build continuously because it is building toward the replication fork, which is constantly unwinding new DNA to build on. The polymerase just continues to build as the DNA is unwound. On the other side of this molecule, however, the new strand is being built away from the replication fork. So as the DNA polymerase builds new DNA in this direction, it must constantly cycle back and start building again to fill the gap. In this way, you can see DNA being built continuously here and discontinuously, or in short segments, here. These short segments are all attached in the end, and this part of the new strand is just as strong as this one. So if we zoom out, we can see how replication is occurring within the whole replication bubble. The new strands are being built continuously 
here and here, and they are being built in that choppy, discontinuous fashion here and here. This replication bubble will just continue to get bigger and bigger until the whole DNA molecule is replicated. Now it is important to note that in eukaryotes, DNA replication occurs in many locations at once on a chromosome. So you will see many replication bubbles getting bigger and bigger until they fuse together. This makes replication much faster in the cell as you can replicate different parts of the DNA at the same time. So those are the basics of DNA replication. If you are interested in learning about the details behind DNA replication, including the roles of all the other enzymes needed in this process, see my more advanced videos on DNA replication.